Hi, uh, today we will use uh, the graphical rapid analysis of structures program for the for drawing the shear and moment diagrams of beams and frames. Uh, I just want to uh, go back to our examples. Please look at our example so that you will be able to follow it. Uh, again, if you use any software, always look first for the units. Check for this particular unit and here for our example one we are using is i so we will just use the default uh, unit then after that you can go to the grid options i will just use 1.5 for easier uh, steps and i will just follow some of the default values and of course check the structure this is a frame or beam that's okay and then I can just draw directly uh, because I use 1.5 so that's 1.5 and then another 1.5 1.5 1.5 that's it and of course I can uh, enlarge this one for easier viewing yeah so here we can put a support reaction a hand support and a roller uh, support Zooming or looking at the dimensions, you can just use this uh, add dimensions line. Click on the joints. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, I will have to do it again. Click here. That's 1.5 and then 1 1.5, 1 1.5, 1.5, and then we can add the the loading here. We have uh, four kips or four kilonewton actually. Uh, four also here. Remember, this is the 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 pole problem. We have the uh, power line support frame with uh, one of the beams we, we have presented. And we try to compute it. So this is uh, complete, and we can save our work here. Like for example, you can say uh, beam one. Click then uh, we can analyze our structure. So as you can see, uh, you can directly compute the reaction, which is six kilonewton, which is correct. And you can also draw the shear diagram. Uh, you can put the the values here. We have negative four, two, negative two, and four, which is actually the same in our example and for the moment, uh, we also have the same uh, result in the example. One thing that uh, was uh, we still have to discuss this one later on is about the the bending or the elastic curve. I will just show you in advance so that at least you know that we are going into this direction. So we have this uh, behavior of the uh, beam. It will bend downward. Okay, so that's all for example one. And for example two, that is a beam with uh, triangular loading. Again, it's uh, uh, nine meter beam. So we look for a nine meter beam, this one. And I want to focus on this portion, uh, smaller one. Yeah, then we can put the, the support here. It is a hand support. And a hand support here. Then we can apply a add member loads and click on the member, add, then choose the triangular loading at the distance zero with uh, 20 kilonewton meter length and a 9 meter length. Uh, click OK. So this is the the beam that we have. And we can say save this as beam 2. So again, you can now analyze. So you will see the reactions. Reactions is 30 and 60, which is the same in our example. And of course, this is a take note. The the loading is uh, one degree uh, going up, so the shear should be a second degree curve, and the slope should be uh, decreasing. So, of course, uh, what I mean is the the shear should be. Uh, decreasing but the slope will be increasing according to this uh, value of the loading 
so the shear diagram will be something like this and the the uh, values at the one end and the other end is 30 and minus 60. If you want to know the detailed uh, values at the different sections, you can just click this uh, member, right click. Uh, uh, no, just click directly, left click only. And then you will see a dialog box showing the different share at different locations, 20, uh, 30, 29, and then 24, then going to the end, minus 60. Okay? Or you can just look at this diagram itself. Also, uh, we can show the moment. Uh, this is the moment showing the uh, different uh, forces or bending at any section. So here, by the way, uh, earlier uh, you have to choose shear force, something like that. Then here, because the default is bending moment, so the, the we have shown bending moment earlier so here we have the bending moment zero at the beginning then increases at about uh, 103.68 at this location and then going back to zero at the right end okay and in advance again you can just look at the deform shape uh, that's quite exaggerated uh, you can just uh, shorten it something like that okay so it's quite good that uh, you will be able to directly see the effect using the software another example is uh, yes we will just choose one uh, the triangular one again uh, so we have uh, six meters length Again, look at the dialog box below. You will see that it's 6 meters. And to check, you can just uh, add dimension lines if you want. Uh, here. Okay. So, I will just uh, look into this one. We have the support, a hand support on one end, and a roller support at the other end. Uh, where the loading is a triangular loading. So, you can add the left one with the height of uh, 6 kilonewton meter with distance 3 we can add the other triangle uh, again with the height of 6 at the distance 3 and 3 click ok so uh, if you remember this is our one of the examples and we can save this as bin 3 and then uh, analyze where you will see the reaction uh, 9, 9, the shear, as you can see, again, there is the change of the curvature since the the loading is, uh, the slope is increasing and the slope here is also increasing, but the value of the shear is decreasing because the, the load is decreasing. Uh, so, the, the curve is concave downward and then concave. If you see the moment, since the shear here is maximum, so it should be located at the middle here. So this is the maximum moment. And again, click the member to show the maximum moment because the beam is usually divided into 21 points. So the middle should be at 11. So that's 18 kilonewton meter. And if you can check the result of our example, they are the same 18. And again, the deflection is this one or the elastic curve also for the other uh, example uh, we will see this one this is more complicated the compound beam okay. so we will have another uh, pile but of course, by this time, we have to change the units into U.S. customary units because we are using pit and kips in this way. So, we will be using uh, drawing 10 pit, so from 0 to 10 pit, and then 0 to uh, around 10 pit again, so that's 20, and then another 12 pit, so that's 32. Okay, so here we have the support 
at point A to be a roller support at point C to be again a roller support and at point E this is a hand support so it does not uh, carry bending but here take note that we have the internal hands here so you can use the the function where is that the member in release so click that member in release and click the member uh, look at this one there is one a symbol on the left but click again uh, to change the symbol on the right uh, of course uh, we only have to release one of the moment here and the other side you can also release it if you want but in a separate occasion so here uh, we have to apply the, the loading to keep spare put here uniformly distributed so this is two okay and also we have here the triangular loading again uh, we have the height of three kips so this should be six and also going back and choosing the other one it should be uh, three then three no six and three. Wait, sorry for that uh, i need to add uh, actually uh, i was not able to add it so this is zero three and six then okay okay so after that we can also add uh, the concentrated load here that is around five kips at a distance six feet okay and lastly we have the couple here at the left joint which is equal to 60 kips put uh, clockwise so it should be minus 60 because it's clockwise then click ok then save your work uh, and this is compound beam or beam number 4 then you can analyze it ok so you will see the the reactions which is equal to 4 uh, 45 and 6 which is the same as in our example but the the share diagram should look like this one which is also the same with our example uh, you can look at the the values on the vertical and the bending moment then okay so we want to check the result is maximum minus 180 and here should be 64 we have to click this portion and we will see if it is really 64 yeah it's 64 at a distance two bit from the left okay so you can really see how uh, useful to use uh, softwares to to study the share and moment diagrams of a beam